you don't have all day to get your house in order to seek the Lord and, get, and repent from your sins. You don't have forever. That's why he said, verse 6, for this shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. So it won't always be time to pray unto the Lord and get forgiveness of your sins, will it, brother? Mm -mm. It won't always be time. He said, for this, everyone that is godly shall pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. That means it will be a time you will pray unto him and you won't be found. Don't wait till the hammer come down. Some bad catastrophe happened, the Lord mad at you, and he didn't threw the towel in on you, and then you want to start praying in. You can wait too late. That's why the title is, Seek the Lord. Wow, he may be found. This scripture tells you this right here. But this is not the scripture where the text come from. The text going to come from in the last scripture that we're going to read. But we got all kind of scriptures to back up the sermons that we teach. So he said, for this year, everyone that is godly, pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Go ahead. Surely in the floods of great waters, they shall not come nigh unto him. See, the Lord going to protect you even when the big trouble come. But now, if you don't do that, let's go to uh, Proverbs, the first chapter. Go over to Proverbs. But if you don't seek the Lord in, in a timely fashion, the flood's going to come and you're going to get drowned. Mm -hmm. Great tribulation going to come, you're going to lose your life. You're going to even lose your eternal salvation because you ain't going to know what to do. The Lord going to come, if you're still living, made it through that, you're going to end up getting destroyed with that flame and fire. Proverbs 1 and verse 24, you need to know how the Lord think about things and how he operates. Go ahead, verse 21, go ahead. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Uh-huh. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. You done done away with all this law, but you think you know him. Go ahead. I, I also will laugh at your calamity. Nobody told you the Lord will laugh when he puts you in trouble, he'll laugh at it. Understand this, God. Go ahead. I will mock when your fear cometh. He said, I'm going to mock when your fear cometh. Go ahead. When your fear cometh as desolation, uh -huh. and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, uh -huh. when distress and anguish cometh upon you, uh -huh. then shall they call upon me. Oh, you're going to call. You think it's always time to call or pray to the Lord. You're going to call when he's mad at you. Go ahead. But I will not answer. He said he won't answer. Go ahead. They shall seek me early. You're going to seek them early then. Go ahead. But they shall not find me. You better seek the Lord while he may be found. Go ahead. For that they hated knowledge. Okay, let's go farther. I'm sorry. Go to 1 Thessalonians 2. We're going to wrap it up. We're running out of time. We like to just read the scripture and show you that. 1 Thessalonians 2. Let's show you an example of the last days on how, what the Lord would do to you. First Thessalonians 2, and pick it up at verse 3. Because Paul going to tell us about this abomination that's coming. First Thessalonians 2 and verse 3. Uh, Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians 2. I got the wrong one. Second Thessalonians 2 and verse 3. Go ahead. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, uh -huh. except there be a falling away first. Uh -huh. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. See, the son of perdition going to come. Go ahead. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, uh -huh. or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. That's what he going to do. He going to move into a temple in Jerusalem. But go ahead. Skip down to verse 9. We got to wrap it up. Go ahead. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan uh -huh. with all power and signs and lying wonders uh -huh. and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish uh -huh. because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. See, you don't receive the love of the truth, so you're going to perish. And what God going to do to you since you didn't listen? Go ahead. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion uh -huh. that they shall believe a lie. He's going to send you a strong delusion that you should believe a lie, a lie so you can be what? That they all might be damned. You mean God intended damn you? In the New Testament, he's telling you. Paul tell you that they all might be damned who did what? Who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Okay, back up to Luke 13. And we got to speed up because I got one more I want to get in. Luke 13, and we're going to listen to the words of Jesus. Luke 13, and we're supposed to pick it up at verse 24. Luke 13 and verse 24. Go ahead, brother. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. Uh -huh. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in uh -huh. and shall not be able. They won't make it. They're going to seek, but they will not make it. 
Go ahead. When once the master of the house is risen up and have shut to the door, uh -huh. and ye begin to stand without and to knock at the door, now saying, you knocking. It's a little too late. You knocking. Go ahead. Lord, Lord, open unto us, uh -huh. and he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. He's going to shut the door in your face. He don't know you. One more place. Let's go to Isaiah 55, because this is where the text come from. Seek the Lord while he may be found. We're going to cut out the other two verses there. Seek the Lord while he may be found. You got to do this. Isaiah 55 and verse 6. Go ahead, brother. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. That's exactly what the Bible say, don't it? We didn't make it up. Mm -hmm. Believe the Bible. Go ahead. Call ye upon him while he is near. While it's time, go ahead. Let the wicked forsake his way. That's what you got to do. Go ahead. And the righteous man his thoughts. Uh-huh. And let him return unto the Lord. And don't think the Lord understand he know your heart because what? And he will have mercy upon He's him. He's going to have mercy on you and what else? And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. He will pardon, but what else? For my thoughts are not your thoughts. See, he, his thoughts not yours. Don't think, don't tell me he know your heart. His thoughts are not your thoughts. Go ahead. Neither are your ways my ways. So you got it. Go say ahead. Say up the Lord. So you got to change. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Hope you got some understanding in Jesus' name. Live in the Chicagoland area. 